Joining me now for more on this, Leslie Marshall, a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson, also a syndicated radio host. I mean, can you believe <laughs> what we are seeing, Leslie and Lars? Can you believe this? Did you hear what the speaker said? The police are going to go get yeah. these Democrats. They're going to drag them back to the Senate, and then he said they're going to lock the doors and try to have a... I mean, you can't make this stuff up, Lars. Good. This is great stuff. And you say it's unbelievable. I find it perfectly believable. Remember State Senator Obama, who used to vote present when he didn't want to take a position on a tough issue? Well, at least he showed up. At least he was present. The vote. Well, I know, but in this case, these guys realize they're going to lose the vote, so they don't want to show up. And as the speaker pointed out, they're not doing their duty. They asked to represent the people. How do you represent the people when you go Tora Bora and hide in a hole somewhere? And yet, Leslie, I haven't spoken with these Senate Democrats, but I'm going to assume that they are going to see this as, as an equal response to what they perceive as the strong arming by the Wisconsin governor. Uh, yes, Megan. You know, we were joking around that I should leave the room so you would shoot an empty chair for a moment as the Democrat here. <laughs> but I don't know what my pe I don't. And that was your cruise idea, by the way. But I, I don't I don't know what my peeps are doing there in Wisconsin. But I do know this. My mother told me there are mountains to die on. This is a mountain to die. And I do agree with Lars that they need to represent their constituents. But this is a delay. This is a statement. This is not just a statement for their constituents because there are Republicans marching that we see on the screen there. There are Republicans and Democrats in all unions in this country. This is not a Democratic issue. This is a union and it, a middle a class issue. worker and the people Megan. of Wisconsin. Issue. It's a union issue, but then the, the Wisconsin bu governor would say it's it's a budget issue. It's a taxpayer issue, yeah. I guess, Lars. They're out of money. No, no. They're out of money. They've got to deal with this problem. This governor is doing just what Governor Christie does in New Jersey. You've got to take the problem and solve it. And the Democrats have decided to split town and hide from the problem. That doesn't solve it. Leslie, what what are uh, eventually they're going to have to have this vote and it looks like it's going to go through. Yes. I mean, the reason they're not showing up is because they know that the, the Republicans have the votes, I guess, to push this thing through. And the unions are going to be deprived, it looks like, of collective bargaining rights. But the, and they're going to have to pay more towards health insurance and more towards pensions. But the governor says he has no choice. It's time for austerity. He's sorry, but the coffers are dry. The governor actually better look at his own sound bites, Megan. The governor himself said that he could fix the financial mess in Wisconsin by redistrib right, redistributing the debt that he has. The overwhelming cost are not teachers. And you know what I say? You want to take away from teachers now, then you better put money aside for prisons later. There's a direct correlation between a lack of education and crime, A. B, Wisconsin, oh. I used to live in Milwaukee years ago. This is a state, overwhelming majority are blue-collar working class men and women. He is killing the people of his state, and many of these people are going to leave the state and go elsewhere for jobs. He's hurting the state of Wisconsin. He's hurting this, the people. This, he may be have a vindication uh, against the union, but these are hurting the people. Megan, the fact is the governor has done what's sensible. He's out of money. He's $3 billion in the hole. He's got to solve the problem. As far as the unions go, I keep hearing even Fox saying we're stripping their, their, their ability to bargain. No, they can still bargain on pay and benefits. That's what should be bargained. They want to, and frankly, teachers and a lot of other uh, public employees want to bargain on everything else. Length of class time, what curriculum they're teaching. I don't want to get too far in the weeds, but the fact is we've got a sick system where public employees can essentially hold a gun to the heads of elected officials and say either you give us what we want or we will, we will get you fired from your job. Now, Megan, you don't get to do that. You can't walk up and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire Roger Ailes or cause him to be unemployed by Fox if he doesn't give me what I want. That's a sick kind of situation. Public employee unions have started to screw up governments from the top to the bottom, and they have to be reined in, and I well, applaud I'll tell the you this. for doing it. You know what else I can't do? I can't just not show up because I don't like the program we have that day. And then it is, the, the anchor yep. chair is empty and I just prevent the show from going on. That's not allowed. Uh, no, unbelievable. Dan, Dan rather tried that. It didn't work. Oh, well, we are still waiting to hear from any Senate Democrat from Wisconsin. We would love to hear uh, your thoughts on, on how you're going to prevent this vote, I, I guess, any longer than today. Leslie and Lars, great debate. Thank you for both sides on Thanks, that. Man. Thank you, man. Uh, we appreciate yeah. it from both of you.